Hey everyone, today we're gonna talk about a long lever push-up. Hopefully I have enough uh, real estate here, literally in California, and uh, on this camera for you to see it all. It's basically a normal push-up, but I'm scooting my, my arms and my hands, or my, my feet and my hands away from each other to make my lever on my abs a lot longer. So this is different mechanics of the shoulder, and it is a longer challenge or a greater challenge for my ab or my um, abdominal muscles. So let's see, let me scoot my feet back. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna start here. I gotta tuck my hips. I gotta walk my hands forward like this. Hey, that works. And I'm gonna try to let my heels sag down, right? I don't wanna put too much pressure on my toe by pressing away. So heels are sagging down like this. And make sure I got my outer lower abs. And I come down and up. It's very hard to talk through these. I didn't really think through this. Um, so with the longer lever, it's okay to flare your elbows a little bit with the, the mechanics of the shoulder they need to, um, you need the elbow to flare as it contorts while it uh, flexes up, while it lifts your arms up overhead. Um, so a little bit of elbow flare there is okay. Whereas if I'm doing a normal push-up, I don't want a lot of elbow flare because it puts extra stress on the upper part of my shoulder. Um, big challenge here though, this, this is really taking, if you saw my last video, we talked about the push-up being a moving plank. It's an ab exercise, right? This is very important when we lengthen the lever like we're doing here, um, because I'm putting, I'm making that, uh, the lever, <laughs> making the moment arm, let's use a different word, the moment arm on my abs a lot longer. So even though I don't weigh anymore and gravity is the same pulling me down, I'm gonna feel it more because I'm putting my body in a disadvantaged position. So try that one out, especially towards the end of workouts. Like this is, uh, it can be very challenging. So keep that in mind, but uh, it's, it's a nice one to end with if you still have the strength left because it allows your body to kind of relax at the end of the workout and gives your uh, your position or your midsection position away that allows your shoulders and your hips to move really well for the rest of the day.